In our previous video, we saw exactly how much more powerful the TI was over the 1080, but today we're gonna see how much more we can squeeze out of the TI by giving it some overclocking. So as you know, the 1080 Ti really outperformed the 1080 in 4K gaming, but today we're gonna find out exactly how much better this card is when overclocked compared to it at a stock frequency and the 1080. So let's dive in and check out the results. So jumping into our test, we're gonna kick it off again with Fire Strike. The overclocked 1080 Ti scored 20,104, almost a full thousand higher than the TI at stock frequency. So a good jump just off in Fire Strike alone. We'll have to see how this comes across in games. So for our first game we tested, we went back to Grand Theft Auto 5 with our overclock and averaged 57 FPS. So we couldn't quite hit 60 as an average with very high in MSAA, but we still had a decent increase, honestly, over stock speeds. The second game was Rise of the Tomb Raider on very high, and we averaged 75 FPS with the overclock on our TI, which was actually an 11 FPS jump just over its uh, original standings, which is really, really good in my opinion. That's a good overclock and a really good result, even if you just compare it to a 1080, so really good numbers so far. Our next test takes us to Dirt Rally, which it had a 98 FPS average on Ultra with the MSAA at times four, which was once again an eight FPS jump over stock um, numbers with the TI, but even more obviously compared to the 1080. So another good rise in FPS. Our fourth title we tested was Hitman again, and it averaged 84 FPS with the overclock on the TI, which was 10 more than um, its stock settings with just the normal TI, and obviously quite a jump over what a 1080 does for that game. So once again, another impressive jump, you could say. And then for our final test, it was Gears of War 4, where we averaged 64 FPS with our overclocked 1080 Ti, which got us above 60 FPS as an average, which is what we like to see and another 9 FPS jump over just your standard frequencies for the TI. So another really solid jump for our 1080. So there you have it, even better performance, which obviously with overclocking you should, but like actual even better performance. Pretty solid stuff at 4K resolution. Very, very impressed with the TI myself. I'd love to know what all of you think down below in the comments about the results of all these tests and all these numbers. Um, I'll read through them and even respond if you have questions as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for future tests and reviews on some of our products that we offer at Exotic PC, and we'll see you all next time.